Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Jack of All Trades, New Hampshire. All right, so as we slowly get into spring here in New England, we're going into a rainy season, all right? And it gets pretty messy here, pretty uh, wet and mucky usually when everything starts to thaw out. We didn't have a super bad winter this year, so I suspect uh, that the rainy season will probably be mild as well. But something that comes with the rainy season are the ticks. Uh, now, if you don't know this already, ticks are already out all year, all right? But obviously in the wintertime, they're not going to be uh, as prudent to be able to get you because there's not a lot of foliage. Usually there's snow, and they're kind of overwintering uh, under that snow and under the leaf litter. So uh, what I want to demonstrate for you today is what I do to take care of the ticks here on my property, what's worked for me. Um, I don't uh, have any kind of affiliation with the products that I'm using here, uh, but this is what I bought and what I use for my property. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have. It's real easy stuff to pick up at Lowe's or Home Depot, but what I use is try as a side granules for the lawn. And this is gonna be all the flat surfaces of the lawn, all right? And disregard that my lawn is mostly moss. So dry as a side granules is what I'm gonna use on the lawn itself. And then the actual spray that you put on the end of your water hose, the spray is gonna be for the foliage and the perimeter, okay? Uh, if you don't know this already, ticks uh, aren't gonna really be on your lawn here as much as they're gonna be on the perimeter, okay? That's where they go and that's where uh, you're most likely going to pick them up at is when you're passing from the the, the grass area uh, maybe over to your neighbor's lawn maybe to go get your dog maybe to go for a hike they hang out where the food is they're smart they know where the food is they're not going to be as likely to get on you when they're on the ground and they know that so real quick let me go ahead and uh, dispel a few myths right so Ticks don't hang out up in the trees and drop down on your head when you walk past them. Okay, they don't even jump actually. What a tick will do is ticks hang out where their uh, host is, okay? So we're talking about deer, humans. They're gonna be at about that height level of a deer, okay? So you're thinking four, five feet tops off the ground, two to three feet, you know, dogs things of that height, okay? They're not gonna be away up in the trees. Now, you know you find the smaller ones on birds, but those are birds that are on the ground, okay? And the really tiny ones are gonna be on rodents, chipmunks, squirrels, stuff like that. So what you wanna do is, what you wanna do is when you spray the foliage around the perimeter of your yard, you wanna spray that, that five feet and under range, okay? And that's, that's what you're looking to get. You wanna get it under the leaves, you want to get it all through there and i typically buy a couple of the sprays and i get enough of the granules to cover my whole lawn and i can do that twice a year all right so the granules last three or four months the spray is about the same about a half a year half a season for the ticks uh so again let's see here okay so the very first step doesn't actually take take place in the spring the very first step step to getting rid of the ticks on your property happens the fall previously. So check out what I'm talking about right here. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. Do yourself a favor. Clean all your leaves up as much as you possibly can in the fall because this is where the ticks will live in the winter time. They will overwinter in the, in the leaves and the leaves will actually keep them warm as they decay. Alright, so you guys already know how to clean up leaves, especially if you watch my leaf cleaning video. So that's the first tip. Make sure the tip, make sure the ticks can't live on your property over the winter time. Okay, some other ideas. Ticks aren't gonna cross gravel. So if you have a gravel driveway, keep that in mind. That's one of your perimeters. They're not gonna cross gravel, gravel, they're not gonna cross mulch, right? So I've seen people that have put a boundary of mulch around their property. They're not gonna cross that at all. So those are some ideas when you're fighting uh, this war. 
uh, which is Lyme disease here in New England because uh, a lot of people are exposed to Lyme disease every year and it's kind of scary that you could actually have Lyme disease and not really even realize it. Uh, some of the smaller ticks I've found on myself are almost unrecognizable, they're so small. And these are gonna be ticks that you know, normally would get on a rodent, you wouldn't have to deal with them. But uh, learn lessons the hard way here about uh, having picnics out on the lawn and laying down on the grass and stuff like that. We could do that in the Midwest, you can't really do that here. Uh, unless you take care of your, your lawn. So to give you an idea of what a tick does and, and how an, a tick actually gets on you is uh, we'll just demo, demo this birch leaf here. The tick will has six legs. The tick will be on the end of the very end of this. Okay, and they'll be using their two back legs to hang on to the limb. And they'll have their four front legs spread out wide and they'll just wait. They go to places that are high traffic areas. Uh, that's where they frequent. They could detect the carbon monoxide that you exhaust out of your breath and vibrations and sounds. And that's where they head for. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this yard done. All right, so the triazoside granules have to be watered in. And what that means is you have to usually water your lawn afterwards. I almost always do this right before rain uh, that way uh, I can do I can do it late in the afternoon after my kids have already gone uh, in for the night And then the rain comes in soaks everything in real good and then you don't have to worry about it if you're really Really concerned about ticks do the granules and then go over your lawn with the sprayer the tick spray and That's like a double whammy. Uh, I don't feel the need to do that much. I haven't had any problems um, with the ticks since I've been doing it this way. So this is actually the way I'm gonna the way I'm gonna do it I'm not gonna get any more extreme than this I have it on level six Also with this triazoside spray, you want to make sure you shake it up really good beforehand, okay? And there'll be a little safety plug that you pull out of the middle to allow it to engage. All right, what you want to do is you want to spray from the ground up to about four or five feet in the air, and you want to make sure you get the bottom of the branches, okay? Again, that's for uh, three to four months of control there. I'm gonna do this again, probably towards the middle to end of summer. Um, and that should be enough. Anyway, like I said earlier, the ticks aren't gonna be way up in the trees. They're not gonna be really on the ground that's bare. Uh, they're gonna need something to help elevate them to get onto your legs, into your arms, and your torso. So they're gonna be on the shrubs. They're gonna be in the little trees, the tall grass. You do want to put something down on your regular grass just so that they're not crawling around and, and you know transverse in your property but the key is to one clean up your leaves in the fall to create a perimeter okay create a perimeter on your property by doing um, the spray along the sides the edges and then the granules on the lawn and then once you have that perimeter then you'll just know that if you if you go outside the perimeter to do some work, you're just gonna have to check yourself extra close. Um, we already check ourselves, but this does give you peace of mind that um, you're not gonna have to walk in with a tick on you every single day and worry about Lyme disease. Anyway, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Hit the like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from Jack of All Trades, New Hampshire. Take care. Bye.